All right, welcome back. It is time to take a look at the new character. Now I know I am a little bit late, but uh, I did not forget to take a look at the new character. And I have to say, this is probably uh, one of the more sus characters, as uh, you are about to see. Now she does look very good, although some of her animations are are very very sus and. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying that uh, that's uh, one of the things that I've noticed. Uh, I mean, you cannot miss it. It's literally, you know, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, let's take a look at the stats. This character is very similar to... Um, well, I mean, I, I say very similar. She's using a different weapon. I mean, you, this is actually... One of the first characters that has received a totally different weapon. She's using a bowgun, which is awesome, and she does have a very interesting playstyle, quite active, and does deliver a lot of DPS. This character has also been buffed in one of the last smaller updates, so she has been enhanced uh, when it comes to the DPS performance. So, Katya has two different setups, and I'm actually using the advanced equipment, but I will cover, and I'll just uh, quickly take a look at the weapon stats and at the logistics. Now, my build basically is a fusion of, of these to have the, I have the purple weapon, and I have the orange uh, logistics, so... Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's very funny how I combine these two, mostly because the weapon does take does take a lot of you know resources to actually get the weapon. So I just usually settle with the purple one, and honestly, the purple weapon is more than enough. She does do a lot of damage, and I have the logistics leveled up as well i have to double add i have to double check when i recorded this since i know for a fact that at the moment my logistics are level 15 and i'm also working on giving them a proper stat boost meaning that i'm actually aiming to have everything focused on ice damage she is doing ice damage a elemental character i saw a meme the other day where we have received ice damage, electric damage, kinetic damage, but there hasn't been any thermal damage added. I mean, there is no thermal damage character added in a very long time. So maybe the next character will be a thermal one. We will see. But uh, it is kind of funny. I haven't really noticed that up until I saw the meme. And here you can take a look at the logistics, also at the weapon. Now, Neptune Nova, the weapon is actually really good, really solid. Although, again, uh, if you are free to play like me, then I usually settle with the purple weapon, since the difference in the end isn't, isn't that big. But if you want the best of the best, well, then the orange weapon is definitely the way to go. And here you can take a look at the uh, logistics real quick. They seem to have a very good effect. And will of course work just fine. If you are if you have them maxed out, you can change their well not to roll, but you can change the attribute. And if you want it, if you want DPS then go for ice damage, since she is a ice elemental character. A good one at that. I mean, one of probably one of, probably one of the better ice DPS out there, and does play very, very smoothly. I really like the the gameplay of this character. It does play very, uh, very smoothly. The design. I mean, again, the, the design is a bit sus. I know. Well, we will see. You will see what I'm talking about. Uh, I I don't know. I mean, I jokingly said that. These developers have been inspired by Nike, and it it does feel like the developers have heard what I said, and they went all out. 
I'm not complaining, I'm just saying uh, what I've noticed. It's still quite... I mean, I, I love the design uh, of these characters, they look awesome. A little bit sus, yes, some of the costumes are are very sus, I'll, yeah, I'll say that, some of the costumes are very sus, not gonna lie, but most of the default designs are really good, so I like the design of this character, it does suit her role really well as a bogan user. No, uh, the, the freezing effect is something that you will see quite often uh, in, in this video, uh, because of the logistics, and overall, it does have a very good impact when it comes to has the, the weapon has two modes uh, what I'm trying to get here you'll see what I'm talking about and oh, real quick the neuronics I have everything unlocked and basically everything is kind of maxed out usually before I re before I go and record the video I try to basically uh, have the character maxed out so far that's the thing that I've been doing and so honestly when I upgrade everything it was worth it uh, it was definitely worth it the extra stats that you get are noticeable and you will definitely see a a change a improvement in the amount of damage that she will be doing and the overall performance will be also of course improved so I do recommend that you go and unlock all of these attributes because they will have a impact down the road doesn't matter if you have the purple weapon or the orange weapon the, the effect of the character being leveled up will be noticed so yeah I definitely recommend that you go and upgrade so uh, time to see how she will oh actually hold a second I almost forgot just a quick overview on the on the skills. Her ultimate is a very good uh, Ario effect ultimate, and does do a lot of damage besides freezing the target. But I really do like uh, the gunplay a lot more, since the bowgun has two different modes. It has a let's call it a bombing mode where. It has a explosive bolt and it does uh, two damage in an area, which is very good when you want to deal with a lot of targets at once. And it has the single shot, basically the default, and the default modes uh, where it is shooting a it's shooting a bolt that doesn't do any explosive damage, but it's very accurate. And it does have the drop fall off effect, so you can technically shoot targets behind cover. And honestly, uh, that makes this character very, very fun. And overall, it is indeed uh, very playable when it comes to the, the fun factor is very high. Now, uh, her active skill, the skill on on E, basically turns her. It does enable like let's let's, let's call it a siege mode. She will enter a siege mode and basically will improve the rate of fire and also it will improve the damage output as uh, you will see me uh, doing uh, in well hopefully doing this video uh, I actually started to play her a lot better lately I recorded this uh, right when I uh, got the character so yeah my aim wasn't the best here but I definitely got gotten used to using her and my f I mean the explosive bolts are very useful when it comes to the when it comes to combat, the explosive bolts are definitely useful. It does clear a lot of enemies at once. Although against some bosses, the explosive bolt wasn't as effective. So definitely switching the mode is important depending on what you're facing. And does this character has a very good chance to replace one of my main characters that I have? Uh, because of how she works and I have been leveling up a lot of my characters I mean the one thing that I kind of don't like about uh, the game is how 
difficult it is to obtain materials. Uh, they everything costs a lot, and the the materials that you get, the currency that you get, not not the premium currency. The premium currency is fine, but the 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 coins that you get basically are sometimes not enough, and the up upgrading the logistics, for example, can be quite the expensive thing. And I'm here, I'm, uh, by the way, I'm playing one of the new modes added, uh, which I honestly do like. They've added so many new things in this update, which will help. I know the game at start didn't really have much things to do, which is kind of... I would say uh, something that I've noticed, not just with this game, but with other games that are just freshly released, they usually don't have a lot of things to do, so it does take like a month or two for the developers to add stuff. And I say patience is very important, and patience is honestly sometimes uh, very, very important, especially when a new game is released. And I have been enjoying this game a lot. I found myself to, to be playing this game more often than some other games that I play mostly because I don't know it's different. Uh, the it is a very unique game because you don't really have many games like these where you can actually uh, you know run around and shoot. Gray Raven is one of the one of the very similar games. This game was the developers have been inspired by Gray Raven, and uh, I do uh, like the fact that. They have been inspired by the game, but there are some things that they could improve uh, in order to make this game much more enjoyable. And I'm playing on PC. Uh, I used to play on my phone, but <laughs> this, let me tell you, if there is a demanding game, it's this one. My phone has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is quite the powerhouse but this game manages to actually max out the GPU on that thing so yeah maxing out a 8th gen 2 is quite rare there is no other game actually there is one other game a War Thunder Mobile that basically does the same but but this game is heavy uh, and I just prefer to play on PC despite the games looking about the same on both platforms. There are some differences, but the games look almost identical. So, I mean, almost they, they do look identical. So, no complaints from me. Now let me see. Uh, this this little new mode is actually pretty awesome. I, I like it. I also love how you can uh, basically teleport through the. You can actually teleport th sometimes through the attacks of the character, which is really good. Uh, her evasion is very similar to the Shensing evasion. Uh, she also does evade about the same way, tele basically teleports. And let's go and defeat the boss. But so far, definitely a... Honestly, a awesome looking character. I have no complaints about... I mean... Uh, usually I do buy the outfits, usually I do buy the outfits for the character, but I decided not to uh, buy for this character because I just, I mean, maybe I, I, I will, but uh, I bought a, uh, I think I, I got a costume for a different character, yeah, I think I did, I didn't buy for her, but maybe I will, trying to see what's the next character added uh, to the game and to see what the developers have in store for us for the next for the next update. The next update isn't actually that far away. And yes, this event is indeed quite long. Uh, I actually am surprised that they decided to go 45 days. Not quite sure why they went with 45 days. Uh, 
But it's definitely the longest. The longest event that we've had so far. Now with this boss, we can actually uh, stun the boss and then use the siege mode to basically just deliver as much damage as you can. She does do a lot of damage when she goes into the siege mode. The rate of fire increase is amazing. The rate of fire is amazing. And overall, even the rate of fire without her active skill is decent, but when you enter in her special mode, the rate of fire will be significantly improved. And... And, well, that's how you kill the boss, I guess. That was actually pretty good. Pretty fun. Pretty fun indeed. That was the new... Uh, the new event, well not the event, but a permanent game mode added that I um, actually started to love a lot. It's just, it's definitely interesting. Alright, let's go and uh, do some boss battles. Her performance for boss battles is actually really good. Surprisingly, I, uh, this week I, I got this boss again. Isn't that lovely? Now, for this boss, I like to... As we have already seen, I like to stun the boss and then just go full DPS, full siege onto the weak spot. Basically, that's that's how you do as much damage as you as you can. But her overall performance against boss battles, against bosses in general, is really solid. I also like how I, I noticed this. The last like two characters, I believe, last two characters were kind of more focused on support. This character is definitely focused on the DPS part. Which does bring the question, well, is the next character going to be support or DPS? My guess is that the next character will be more of a supportive role. Or could actually even be uh, a tank or maybe even a healer. I mean... There is a lot of possibilities, really. We haven't received many healers yet. So maybe uh, we will get a healer. Would be pretty awesome if we do get the healer. But I guess uh, time will tell and we will find that out very, very soon. And the boss is... Well, almost, almost got the boss, but I'll just quickly kill the boss the normal way. Let me just do this real quick. Ultimate and... And that should be enough. There we go. Boss has been defeated. So, that was Katya, the, the new character. And honestly, I do love the way she plays. It's very fun and... Uh, this is definitely a very, very interesting character, but with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to support me, feel free to like and subscribe, and with that being said, stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time. Hmm? 私一人で行かせるつもり?